We are live, yes. We can hear the new microphone and it sounds slightly better than the last time. And we want, we want that more like that way. Yes, everything's I think looking good so far. I mean, besides the mouse, we are cooking food mouse. And really, I'm just hoping, I really hope that this microphone setup works because it's way better than having it like around your ears and you like, you're like a cycling coach because then the mic's in front of your face and I can't drink copious amount of water all day. Hello, Bison Hider, welcome. How am I sounding? Um, yes, yeah, so 500 bits, same as a sub, um, same with a donation. I should have a donation button, just like on my main page now, but yeah, same like dollar equivalency. Um, yes, yes, and I just have it on like the same tracker though, because it's easier that way. I just because like I know that like zero did. Uh, like a separate like separate goals for like donations versus gift subs um i am not quite that optimistic so i'm just doing it all on like one track <laughs> the mic sounds good excellent i i'm so happy because yeah i, d I really don't want it around my head and i'm glad it just sounds better and you can't hear all the cars driving by i hope because I can close the window, but then I'll get hot. But that's also okay. <laughs> um. Yes, you do see a pumpkin. We are doing pumpkin in the elixir soup instead of carrot and potatoes. Well, instead of potatoes because it's more fall and it's yummier. Uh, wait, that pumpkin too. Wait, where do you see it? Oh, yes. That's my, <laughs> that's this one's friend. <laughs> he, he's just gonna live back there. He's, that's just, that's just what, what his, his whole dealio is gonna be. Okay. I hope everyone is having a good Saturday so far. Um, I know I am. It is a lovely day today. I am also dog sitting. And look, I got, you can see Marmalade on, on stream now. Yay. Uh, it turns out if you just like put her dog bed somewhere, she will lay on it. <laughs> um, I am also watching Noodle and River. Uh, Noodle will definitely will be a rare appearance, but you'll definitely see River. And uh, just, it should say there, but it's all small. So as a reminder, uh, every milestone, the doggos get a little treat. So if you don't, if, so feed, feed the poor starving dogs. Look at her. She's on the brink of death. <laughs> Bison Hunter did a ton of chores. And now your apartment looks like a showroom. Yeah. Oh, and job hunting. How how's job hunting going? How does that look in the year of our baby Buddha 2022? Let me see this. Eh, angle's not great. They don't tell you to bloom the yeast? I don't trust that. I don't trust that for a minute. We're gonna bloom our yeast first. Okay. Yes, in the year of our Lord Baby Buddha. You want 120 mils 
mills of milk. Milk. Yeah. Um, I, should, I should probably say stuff more before I just start working on it. Um, so yes, today we are making Estes as a Estes as a cocktail. We are making Grandma's Elixir Soup from Wind Waker. We are making Poffins from the Yum Tendo cookbook. That they say these are a Pokemon thing. They're not in any game I've played, but also I don't care because I want cheesy bread to go with the soup. And then we're making monster cake from Breath of the Wild. Um, right now my plan of attack is we're going to start on the bread for the poffins because that needs to rise for at least an hour, uh, up to two hours. Then we'll get started on the fish stock for the elixir soup. And then after that, we'll make the cocktail. And do a bunch of mise en place and stuff for the soup. Also get the cake going. But yes, first couple things, making the bread for it to rise, making stock, make cocktail. Yeah. You made a stew yesterday. It takes a level of cooking to build. Semi-sentient head of lettuce. No, stews are the best. That's basically all we're making today is making a fancy stew. We're just, dude, you just use good ingredients and stew. Stew is the best food. I love stew so much. Just any form of it. Our fall is taking a long time coming this year. It's still 70 degrees outside, but I am excited for soup weather. Okay, so we're making bread, and I am once again ignoring this recipe because it is completely bonkers to me that they do not bloom their yeast. Um, the only time I don't bloom yeast is when I make an overnight bread where you expect to leave the bread like to rise for like 12 hours. But if you want it to rise in only like one or two hours, I feel like you need to activate the yeast. You need to, you need to give it a little something, something. Okay, so. I have this here. We want milliliters. We want 120 mils of milk. Uh, oh. We're using oat milk because it's what I have. As someone who would prefer a nine month autumn, I agree. Yeah. Especially like our October is really good. Like before it gets like too sad. I do like some rain. But I also, I just really like the crisp, the crisp fall days. 128, that's good enough. And then we are going to microwave this. These are doggo treats that I hid in the microwave as I was running about because I do not trust these dogs. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yesterday, marmalade or Thursday. Look at that. Look at her. She, I, I made steak tacos and I had the steak on the counter and I was just sitting on the couch right behind this, right behind the laptop. And marmalade tried to get on the counter and eat the steak. I was there. I was right there. Sorry. I was so hurt. She was so naughty. So naughty. Three quarter teaspoon of yeast. Okay, that's specific. That's fine. And then we buy everything in bulk. So here's our gigantic bag of yeast. And then we probably want to put some sugar in this. Yeah, three tablespoons of sugar. Okay. And I think that's all I need you for. Here we go back in the fridge. <laughs> she did fail her stealth check. <gasps> Ozzed, welcome! A favorite cookie memory from my childhood. Um, not like a specific day, but I do remember like I did a lot of like 
made, would make cookies with my mom. Um, we did like Christmas cookies and stuff, and I really liked that. Um, yeah. Um, and really just my mom teaching me to cook, or really just like, you know, letting me cook alongside her is, was just like really fundamental and very good. Uh, and like probably a lot of what got me into cooking. Um, like it was just, it's so empowering when you're like nine years old and you're like, oh my God, I can just make cookies myself and eat cookies whenever I make them. It's a, it's very empowering. Uh, <laughs> and just like, I would help her make dinner and stuff sometimes. Uh, just, just general fond memories of cooking with my mom at home. How about you guys? Azed, zero, welcome. We are blooming yeast right now. Y'all, I used to have so much problem, so, so, so many problems with baking. Cause you know, we live in the Pacific Northwest where it's kind of cold and just like my yeast wouldn't rise if I followed the instructions. Cause a lot of recipes like don't, like some recipes tell you to bloom your yeast, but some don't. And I have just found, I got so much more success when I start blooming the yeast every time. Um, and I guess if you, if you aren't familiar with cooking, blooming the yeast is you put the yeast in a mixture with sugar and then usually milk, but it can be like water or something. And you let the yeast eat the sugars for like five or 10 minutes. <gasps> oh, Bison Hider, thank you for the gift subs. Congratulations to Bellamy and Twisted Silver and Jova and Ozed and Nikki Bzm. Okay. And, okay, so that shows, oh my gosh, and then zero, zero, thank you! Um, I just realized that that is going to show a different number, uh, because I have, like, the, like, just, like, uh, okay. Follow the, the graphic up here. This is what we're doing, as far as, like, milestones go. Okay. Okay, so what am I doing? I am eating an anchovy and we're getting a liquor cabinet tour, which is perfect because the yeast needs to bloom for like 10 minutes. Okay. Where's my anchovies? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, like my friends and like my brother and people point out, they're like, Nala, you like anchovies. You can't make that a thing. And, but you know what? It's like the first one. There's some other things on this list I really am scared of. <laughs> So we're starting with an anchovy and I figured it would gross a lot of people out because a lot of people don't like anchovies. I'm, I'm guessing zero isn't going to like this. <laughs> How are you doing zero? How's your Saturday so far? And I guess your Friday as well. Friday's, Friday's weekend. Okay. Okay. And yes, I also was like, I didn't buy these anchovies for the stream. I already had them. <laughs> Saturday's good. You got mucho work to do, so you're hanging out. Okay, everyone, cheers. It's so fucking good. Zero, you're missing out. <laughs> you're taking a shot? Okay. Excellent. Um... What am I, what am I doing with you now? I'm putting you in a bag. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, wait, some, some of us watched the new Hellraiser last night. Oh, but I heard that was pretty good. Like, is it fun? As long as it's fun, that's all I care about. Um, I love the OG, like, 80s Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2s. Um, 
and like I've heard good things, but I've heard good things from horror tr Twitter who kind of loved every horror movie ever. So I always take that with like a little grace. Fun is not a word. It's not not exactly uplifting. Okay, but Zero likes Hellraiser. Okay, okay. Cool, yeah. Okay, so liquor cabinet tour. Um, the laptop is not super, well, actually rather the camera is not very mobile. It's clipped. So I'm just gonna, liquor's right behind Marmalade. So I'm just gonna bring everything out, but that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, okay, there's the rest of my anchovies. Okay, I guess the first two, the two newest additions to my liquor cabinet, uh, this is what's going into Estes. I got, I got Maraschino and Barcel Pisco. Um, Maraschino is a, uh, it's, it's cherry, but it's like distilled. So it is sweet, but it's not like syrupy sweet. It smells really nice. Dude, yeah, um, so I did, I tested the Estes cocktail already, and I'm tweaking it a little, but it, it's real good. It's real good. <gasps> the placentas! <sighs> I wonder if I could make a placenta splash on stream. I wonder if I have that in my cabinet. Okay, and then Barcel Pisco. Um, it is a brandy from South America. I got it because How to Drink told me to. I don't, I don't. But it's, I mean, it, it smells like a clear distilled brandy. It's pretty good. Um, these are both pretty good. Like Maraschino, I was actually expecting to hit the bank a lot harder. Like they aren't cheap liquors, but they're also not as expensive. They were like each like 25 bucks before tax. Um, <laughs> Different time zone in county for your West Coast. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me go grab some more liquor. Okay. Oh, you're gonna be so in the way marmalade, but I also put you there. So that's my fault. Okay. First, we got our we got our whiskeys. Uh, a giant boy of Jameson from Costco is the staple in our house. Uh, and then we also we still got a bit of Angel's Envy. Um, this is like the fancy whiskey. That was really good. Um, and I, I should say it's bourbon. It's not just whiskey. It's bourbon. Um, I think, I remember on Hot Ones, on his Hot Ones interview, Babish said this was his favorite, like, go-to bourbon, and we're like, wow, we would basically be best friends. Come hang out with us, <laughs> Babish. Um, and then this is some scotch that we have. Uh, I'm shocked at how much of this scotch is drinking, because neither Guns nor I are scotch drinkers. Um... We must have friends that are scotch drinkers that we offer this to a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm very shocked at how empty this is. <laughs> if Guns ever stops by, he can let me know who drank all that. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <gasps> oh, zero. It is a dress. Thank you. And I'm wearing a petticoat. It is the best. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure there's only men in chat, but if you're a person who wears dresses or knows someone who does, I'm going to be fiddling with this all day. That's okay. Petticoats are a hack. They are so good. It, like, you have, to get, you have to get a decent one. You, you can't just, like, buy a crap one off Amazon because it'll be itchy. But you get one, and they're soft, and they're, like, you know, because, like, women are always cold. 
it like keeps you warm and it makes your skirt do this and it gives it a shape it's the best i love my petticoats so much petticoats sp sponsor me <laughs> i will push petticoats all day but petticoat so, yeah so as far as i know petticoats one word and it's spelled with an i not a y but yeah i'm not i'm not sure I love this. I love when there's actually enough chat that I have to like scroll to see everything that was said. Okay, cool. That's our whiskey. Uh, BRB. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. to show 10? Interesting. You're right. It says 6. Thank you, though. Thank you, Bison. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's so weird. Um, hmm. If, if I can't, like, refresh the widget or something, that, that's the most I'm gonna... That's so weird. Okay. Um, Old Craig, hello. Marmalade is very helpful. Thank you. Okay. Zero was a, was a fan of Calico Jack Coconut. Huh. I moved on to Don Q Coconut Rum. Dude, Coconut Rum is very yummy. Uh, Old Craig, welcome. I hope your weekend's going well. We are currently doing a uh, bar tour, but I just realized I have to give the doggos their treats. So, um, see if I can get you guys over here. River! <laughs> Can you guys sit? Sit. Okay, you get you actually get one more. Okay. There you go. Very good. Okay. <laughs> it's all for grandma's elixir soup. Grandma was a raging alcoholic. No, um, it's not, I get, it's not super legible. Uh, ooh, actually, can I do this? Um, but it's the, just the 10 gift sub milestone. Okay, oh, we're gonna do this. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, um, put... And below face camera. Can I just, can I just, can I just hack this? Just... Boom! Oh, that's so much more legible. Yeah! <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the 10 goal was the liquor to cabinet tour. I don't know why the gift subs haven't updated to say 10, but yes. Um. <laughs> uh, we're first experiments with alcohol. I have pilfered shots of rum for my parents for months. Until we had dozens of shots saved in a glass. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, okay, it didn't work for, buy, for zero either. Excellent. Okay. Um, so I found another rum. We have, it's the maple rum. This 
is very sweet. It's very yummy, though. You pour this on ice cream, and it's awesome. But yeah, it uh, is very sweet, but very yummy. Uh, then we got, you know, our Kirkland equivalent of Bailey's, because you gotta. Uh, we also do Kirkland Spice Rum, because we are a Costco household. Oh, so, so I've been drinking the rum. Mm. Why is the rum gone? Joke, lol. Um, and then this is plastic bottle rum for cooking. <laughs> uh, Myers dark rum, the OG. It's definitely got its place, but like, yeah, it's 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 a plastic bottle. It's not the best. Oz oh, still doesn't drink tequila. A lot of people have bad stories with tequila. I do too, but I still drink it. <laughs> and then. Disarono. 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 There's no I in it. This is uh, almond liqueur. It's very yummy. Rusty Potato likes this, I know. Um, yes. I don't love this, though. It's like, if you can't, it's, it's this giant square. I'm gonna injure myself on this someday. <laughs> Disarono on the rocks. Yes. I squeeze a lime into it, and it's, it's the best. It's so good, y'all. Okay. BRB. Don't get up for me, Marmalade. Bottle is really pretty. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is gonna start getting a little, a little zany. Uh, this is our gin. We get it from Costco. <laughs> Shocker. Tanqueray. It's yummy. Uh, gin's probably my favorite liquor, but like, I'm not gonna lie, I can't tell you what gin I like more than the other. I get, we get this one because it's good and it's at Costco. Um. <laughs> Olaf Craig. No, this is a lot. Olaf Craig, I happen to know what your liquor cabinet looks like too. You know. <laughs> Sometimes you buy bottles and you never use them, but then also they're mysteriously empty. So, like. <laughs> We're doing our liquor cabinet tour. Okay, I gotta give the doggos their treats, and then I have to eat a preserved lemon chunk. Okay. How are you doing, Hoodie? I hope your weekend is going well so far. Okay. Okay. Okay, Puppos. You don't wanna get up, Marmalade. It's okay. You're big. Good boy. Also, wait, uh, what, what, when I do it here, you can see him. Okay, okay. He is dark, but you can see him. This is River. He's a good boy. <laughs> you hope this will teach you how to cook? It will teach you how to cook. Um, right now we're... Okay, it's a little, uh, it's a little hard to see. Ah, you get a little shadow. Eh. So we're blooming our yeast right now. Now, it is bubbly, which is good, which is what we want. Yeah, but that's gonna wait because... <laughs> this. Okay, no, but now I have to eat. Yes. So I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with preserved lemon. I learned about it in this Middle Eastern cooking book I got. Apparently it's pretty common in like Moroccan cooking. Um, yeast bloom is the awful area of a soul's born game. You're absolutely right. Oh, it'd be so gross. Okay, so preserved lemon, what it is, 
is it's just lemon and salt. Like you take a jar or you take a you take a couple lemons and you cut them in half and then like quarter them and you cover every surface of the lemon in salt. And then you put more salt in the jar and then you put a lemon and then you put more salt and another lemon and more salt and then you smush it down to like get all the lemon juice to release so that you have a full jar of just lemon juice and salt with like the lemon in it. And then you leave it on your counter for 30 days. And then you have a very salty, lemony, gelatinous thing. It's really good, like, I mean, if you can't, if you can surmise, you like, you take like a piece of lemon, like preserved lemon, and you like cut it up small, and it's like mixed into things. But this is just gonna be, oh gosh. Oof, okay. like salt and I like citrus but like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie this, this is gonna be a lot okay and also you can't probably can't like really see on camera but like yeah it's really like gelatinized you know you get all the like oils from the lemon get expressed also like all the pith is in here still you know so it it is the it's the whole lemon, but just like all of the juice has been squeezed out. So like all of the membrane is still in there, but it's just like not, you know, full. But this is just like a quarter lemon. I'm not eating the seeds. I didn't sign up for that. Oh, ugh. okay. Scale of one to 10. Okay, on this list, anchovy is 10 and wasabi is zero. This is like a four? It's, it's too much. It's too much salt. Salt and like that soapy bitterness of the pith. The texture is really cool though. I like the like sort of gelatinized texture. But also, yeah, like, just if it's not something you can, you've like thought about, but like how easily I'm biting through this, like you normally cannot bite through, you know, like lemon peel this easily, but it's just like so broken down. Oh, also, also this is gonna hurt my tummy. Not a lot, but like a little bit. I'm trying to think like, Okay, it was like, I don't know if you, because like when you have like a bag of chips and you like want to eat like the flavor dust at the end, I don't know if you guys have ever done that with a bag of pretzels and then you realize too late like, oh no, pretzels is just salt. This is probably a little more salty than that. Like that sip of water just like, just washed over the inside of my mouth. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, back to liquor cabinet. We're like most of the way done, but we still have several. Um, we have absinthe. Absinthe is wild. Um, this is a bottle that, like, my husband's had since before we met. Like, it's gotta be from, like, college days. There's, like, one shot left in here. Um, we got some Baron Yager. Um, if y'all haven't had Baron Yager before, this shit is delicious and dangerous. You do not know it's alcohol. It tastes like honey. 
It's real good. Um, if the Estes cocktail like wasn't boozy enough, I was gonna use this because it's got like a pretty, it's got like a, that pretty gold color, but the, the, it is boozy enough. It don't need that. And then, so these three bottles are very special to me because we can only get these in Prague. They don't sell them in the States as far as we can tell. Um, first one is Bekharovka Limon. Um, you can get just plain Bekharovka in the States slash, I mean, I guess I can't speak for Canada, but I would assume if it's in the States, it's in Canada. It's in a green bottle. It's an herb liqueur or no liqueur liquor liqueur aperitif it's an aperitif it's really good and this is a lemon version um so this is it's a little lower percent this is only 20 percent but it's like herbaceous lemon liqueur it is so good it is so yummy um and then we got griot this is cherry liqueur that actually tastes good <laughs> um like if you make like black forest cake and they want you to use fucking kirsch or like i feel like a lot of other cherry liqueurs and stuff taste like you know medicine and are awful but this is like it tastes like cherries it's really yummy which is good because cherries are delicious and then this Okay, yeah, so they call it KV-14. This is, okay, uh, it's another Bekharovka product, but it's all in Czech. This one, this is, this is Gunn's favorite. Uh, this one's a little rough for me. I think this is like, like a wine barrel aged something. Like, it's like Bekharovka, but in, like, wine barrels or whiskey barrels or something, which on its own sounds good, but the, the, the flavor's a little rough for me. But I, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't describe it better than that right now because I can't read the bottle. It does smell very Christmassy. But I do prefer classic Bekharovka to this. Okay. BRB. <laughs> Did the thing update again? Yeah, now it says I have nine. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Okay. Hello, River. Oh, gosh, you're right behind me now. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna do another handful because we're, we're getting into the, the flavored vodkas and whatnot. So this is the rest, excluding our beer keg and wine. Okay. This is another one from Czech. Vajensi Sen. Vajensi Sen? Vajensi Sen? God's be so disappointed in me. Um, this is egg liqueur. It's very egg yolky, very sweet. It's awesome if you're not grossed out by like a yolk consistency. It's awesome. 
Um, we got Nocino, Nocino. Um, if Old Craig is still around, I'm wondering how Rusty Potato thinks of this. Um, this is a walnut liqueur. As far as I understand, it's another Italian thing. This is, it's interesting. I forget why I bought it. We bought it for a reason, like someone mentioned it or something and I wanted to try it. Yeah, the camera shot's a little ominous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's interesting. I definitely, I don't know how much I like it on its own, but like if you like poured it on ice cream or something, it's pretty good. Or if you just like mixed it into something. I want to smell it. I haven't smelled it in a bit. Yeah, it's just, it's really dark smelling. Uh, it definitely has like a bit of that, like the skins of the walnut in it, which can either be a good or bad thing. <gasps> Slovis, this is a uh, distilled Distilled plum brandy. This is a Czech thing, uh, but this this we can get a total wine. Um, and this one's pretty decent. Um, the thing with like distilled brandies, uh, we have a distilled uh, apple pear brandy here as well. Um, they're kind of expensive, but if you want one that is an ass, they're really expensive. <laughs> this one's pretty decent. This one, I got, I remember now, like way back in like the super early days of my stream when I was doing, I was streaming Hades and it was before I discovered the how to drink YouTube channel. Um, and I looked up the recipe for a cocktail called, uh, Ambrosia. And one of the things it called for was brandy. And, like, this bottle was, like, $30 or something. And it sucks. It's awful. The cocktail, by the way, horrible. It was the nastiest thing I had ever made in my life. I don't, I am offended that someone called a cocktail ambrosia and found a way to make it searchable on Google. It was, like, it was brandy and, um... cognac and just like a bunch of other weird things and then you like topped it off with like bubbly but like the, their recipe had it be like 70% liquor with champagne on top and it was just awful um, um since then I have discovered how to drink in his channel and his version of nectar and ambrosia sound way better um Here's our vodka. It's, a, it's in a glass bottle. Uh, me and Guns don't really drink vodka, and we used to only keep, like, plastic bottle, like, really cheap vodka in the house, and some of my friends do not like that. So I'm assuming that's why we have whatever this is, gallant, because we don't drink vodka. We do have vanilla vodka, though, because you need to for all your delicious shot needs. And then just like, yeah, we got creme de cacao, creme de menthe. Uh, no, this is creme de menthe. This is the sour apple. Triple sec. Ooh, ice and fire. I don't know if you guys have had this. It's like icy hot, but a shot. So, you know, it's like, it's like cinnamon. Oh, this is another Czech thing. This is Czech? Huh. Well, that's what it is. Now I want to smell it. it. Smells like Icy Hot. Um, we have Grand Marnier. We have, you know, Martini Rosso. Um... This, I guess you use this. I'm actually sort of, I'm, I'm surprised at how low a lot of these liquor bottles are. <sighs> it's like you use this for like martinis and stuff, but like I don't drink martini. No one, who drinks martinis? 
that's gotta be like a late night thing. We're like getting, we're already liquored up and we're getting adventurous. <laughs> Who drinks martinis? Bond. You are correct. And then, our tequila. It is our Kirkland tequila. It's real good. Love the stuff. <laughs> Weird old guys at country clubs. Oh, uh, old Craig, I was asking. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what Rusty Potato thinks of Noshino? I, I'm pretty sure this is an Italian liqueur. It's 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 like walnuty. It's. It's dark and it's sort of a lot, but it is yummy in its own right. I just, I just have to have it like with something. Ozzy drank martinis in his university days. Or, or the tequila is university days. That, that, that sounds more likely. <laughs> okay, I take this all back. Oh gosh. River is right behind me. Okay. Martini. Okay, that was it. Yeah, I gave the dogs treats. I, I gave them treats three times. I gave them the two in a row, and then I gave them the third one at, at before the preserved lemon. No worries. Uh, it happens. It happens very fast. They are very fast with their treats. <laughs> okay. I'm so I'm gonna put this back and then we're gonna mix the bread together. Yeah. Okay. Bread time. <laughs> That's oh. Bison is definitely working with the dogs. That's a uh... Got my eye on you. Alright, so... I don't want this yet. Not quite yet. First we want the bowl. And... Dump all that. Because we still need to scale things. Gajol is originally a licorice candy, but it's also a shot. Oh yeah, you Europeans and your licorice. My, my, my best friend, and then one of also one of my high school boyfriend. They're both Danish, and so they'd have like this like fucking salted black licorice candy. Just awful. I'm like, I'm a pretty adventurous eater, and I just, I just can't do that, man. Uh, kind of like a fisherman's friend. I love that phrase. That is so cute. I am glad that the the fisherman's friend is licorice. <laughs> <coughs> okay. 
265 grams of bread flour. Oh, a, yeah, okay. Two twenty two. Two sixty four. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, we should do fun betting things like that. Ooh, that'd be fun. Just like how how close I can get to the the measurement. You also want a three quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay. Why are, you, why are you crying at me, boy? Do I need to let you out? I probably need to let you out. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll let you out real quick. I've not realized that, but there's there's fire afoot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So fisherman's friends also a candy shot. I want. Yes, I want to know. I want to learn all the things. That sounds delightful. Hello, marmalade. You want to go out? You can go out. You can do it yourself, though. Okay. This wants an egg. Do, do, do. Dude. Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh. oh my gosh. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, does that smell good? It's not for puppies. Okay, so this is to knead it for 10 minutes and then to add the butter. Okay. KitchenAid, if you don't have like enough volume of stuff, you gotta like sort of help it along a bit.
don't know how loud this is. Uh, the KitchenAid is awesome. It is... Being able to walk away from your food is just so nice. Like, you just let it go and do its thing, and then you can do other things. It's just... It's real nice. making them we're gonna fill them with cheese to dip into our soup later and it's going to be delicious and wonderful yeah how are you doing how's your weekend been so far oh you're so you're almost there just i just need you all to stick Which is 
one of my favorite words to describe dough. And bouncy. That's a good one, too. Do, 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 do. I can put this down. for lunch today so that I would have wasabi to maybe eat on stream, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, so let's read my portion. Thing, you know it's you got to intuit it a bit and it can your measurements can vary a lot based on your region and since I'm up here in the Pacific Northwest it's pretty pretty humid up here got a lot of moisture up here sometimes I gotta add some flour to get the bread to do what I want it to do okay, let's try that again I do see that this recipe it expects you to have a bread machine which seems very dated to me I don't know a lot of people who have bread machines anymore uh, did I watch the latest Vadi vid about the cities in Eldis Ring yes I did not retain a lot of information from it but I did have it on while I was working um, yeah that one was really good all of his videos are good uh, Smotown also has a lot of content on like the Eternal Cities. I really liked Vadi's video on all the secrets. Partly because I've learned a bunch of things I would have never guessed, but then also there are things that I did know. And then when they made it into the secrets video, I felt very smart. <laughs> Do 
your ex's grandma who just dedicated her life to cooking. Yeah, there are many grandmas like that. Like they just, just so much, so much cooking. Oh man, okay, yeah, this is, this is real wet. Um, I think I'm all more red flour in there. century of cooking knowledge. Yeah, I bet. Uh, her cooking library was bigger than your entire collection. Like, oh, like physical library of like cooking books and stuff. Okay, we're gonna play this game a bit. get to that point I have a couple of cooking books and I really like them all but I mean yeah already like right now I have like what like four or five cooking books and I already like do not use those as much as I would like if y'all haven't checked out there's a subreddit called old recipes which is just insanely charming and wholesome, and it's one of the best spots on the internet ever. It's just people either sh sharing and recreating old recipes, and it's just it's really fun. I'm just gonna skim the top the whole time. God damn. It. Okay. We come around the hook. Mix you. Okay. Okay, this might just be a job for hands now instead of the, the, nah, come on, KitchenAid. Like, KitchenAid's real good, but yeah, if you don't have, like, enough volume, sometimes it just has a hard time, like, picking up. Okay. Okay. So we do this. Do this. Do this. We knock off the dill. We don't break the dill. We wipe off the surface real quick, and then we have a lot of flour here already. And then we do it the way Nick's ex or grandma will do. And knead it by hand for a very long time. It's actually the yeast screaming. <laughs> okay. You want to pick up all the bits and yeah that's that's better and yeah because the huh. I uh, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to ah! 
Well, they got they gotta catch it. They gotta go find it. Uh, what was I saying? Another th thing about this recipe, because it just has you use a bread machine, it doesn't like describe how the dough should look through the different stages, which is sort of annoying. But I watch Great British Bake Off, so I'm basically a pro. Uh, we got this. You know, it's like it's smooth. There's not uh, like you're able to like push your hand into it and it, it comes back clean. So that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, people will tell you not to do this, but I'm lazy and I'm going to. Uh, you take your pan, you take just your same bowl, and you do this. And that's where our dough is going to rise for a couple hours. Okay. And then you cover it so shit doesn't get on it. Okie dokie. Okay. So now... <laughs> Nobody would watch Great Irish Bake Off. I would. I would watch Great Irish Bake Off. I mean, what do I know? I know Irish soda bread. I don't know if that's actually Irish or not, or if it's like an Irish American thing, but I would, I would watch that. Okay. Do I have another towel? I do. Ah. So now we are going to get the stock going for grandma's elixir soup. Um, Cause that's just gonna be throwing a lot of things into a pot, but we want that to simmer for like at least an hour. And with, with fish stock, an hour is usually sufficient to get the flavor. Um, so. Where all this shit is. Okay. Bowl. Yeah. And then I just need a small cutting board for this. Hoodie, do you have a favorite Canadian food? Either poutine or beaver tails. Okay, I could see beaver tails being the name of a, like, treat, like some sort of dessert or pastry, but I can also see Hoodie just fucking. <laughs> Wild beavers are terrifying and angry creatures. <laughs> Oh, was I right? It's a it's a treat. It's a snack. Also zero. Like, okay. Hoodie, cover your ears. If you haven't had poutine yet, just get fries and get like buy some cheese curds at the store and just throw some gravy on top. I don't know, like some people get really particular about their poutine, but like it's fucking fries and cheese and gravy. Just throw it together. It's so good. Poutine elitists, I will never understand. <laughs> okay, it's a big old pastry filled with cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, that sounds great. Ooh, yeah, pulled pork poutine would be great. I love me some pulled pork. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. So yesterday... Okay, originally for the soup stock, I wanted to use fish heads because I like being able to use like whole animal stuff for stock when possible. Like, cause when you're using like a, like the head, like fish heads and bones and things, you get a lot of like 
uh, collagen and cartilage and like good stuff. But the whole fish were incredibly expensive, which is weird because normally whole fish are cheap because you have to put a lot of work into fixing them. So I just bought shrimp and I shelled all the shrimp last night. And so we are using shrimp. You can hear River drinking water. Y'all, River drinks so much water. He is the thirstiest boy on the planet. Oh, Oz ever deemed. Ah. Oh. Fish has become so expensive. You guys, crab are disappearing from the Bering Sea. Oh, I fear that we will never see them again. Their population has disappeared. I don't think they, I, I think scientists don't know if they're dead or if they're just gone. But they can't find the crabs. Zero fish. Fish is good for our, your bones, young man. We just chopped up a carrot. We're throwing it in the stock. I'm doing the same with the celery. Do I want the celery? I'm going to do one. I have the other celery to be like in the soup. I love fish. Fish is what keeps me going. Uh, <laughs> because we're just using it to like get some flavor in the stock. Oh, I need, to, I need to sharpen this knife a bit. We only need to like quarter the onion. We don't need to like, oh, chop it all the way. Same with the garlic. Just giving it a good. Oh, oh. Smashy smash. We got a uh, thyme from my garden. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm losing my old lady voice real hard. I don't know why. I'm like. I was talking like a frail woman from the countryside. Yeah, salmon is very good. Um, you eat four fish during Subnautica. Okay, so like the Valley Girl voice is much easier for me to slip into because it's like my roots. Um, if anyone doesn't, if anyone doesn't know yet, I grew up in Orange County, the OC, from Southern California. Do I like want anything else in this fucking stock? Let's ask our fucking Graham Graham. Graham! Okay. You want rosemary? Well, I got some fucking rosemary. Okay, so I want some like, what, 115 grams of tomato paste? Well, I might not have another 15 grams, so they just have to, like, fucking deal with it. <gasps> oh! Hoodie? 
redeemed a shot okay um is there anything you saw my liquor cabinet is there anything that stuck out to you anything that triggers your fancy okay ooh, ooh, that's a little excited I mean, I figure I'm like so close, I might as well. You don't know what it was? That's fine. <laughs> I can pick. I'm just curious. Okay. We're doing tequila because I have a lot of tequila. I need a shot glass. <laughs> Ooh, this is a New Orleans Mardi Gras shot glass. That's gonna be fun. Okay, when you visited, um, Ireland, your favorites were the seafood chowder and potato cakes. Dude, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I am very excited for, like, like Irish seafood if I when I get over there eventually. I have not been yet, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh, you like the lamb-based recipe? Lamb is also very good. Um. Okay. This cut an onion. That's okay. We'll have onion lime. That's fine. Um. And then our salt. You do this, you rub the lime on your hand, and you put a little salt on your hand. Cheers! Thank you for the point redemption hoodie. Okay. Mm. My esophagus still remembers the preserved lemon, and it's like, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this calls for like half a, this calls for half a cup of either white wine or apple cider vinegar. Okay, no, wait. It says half a cup of white wine, parentheses, or apple cider vinegar. Does that mean white wine vinegar, or apple cider vinegar, or white wine, or apple cider vinegar? We're going to do both. We're just going to do a couple glugs of both and split the difference. Okay. Okay. What are you? So <laughs> we buy big old things of box wine from Costco and this is our cooking wine. This is a Pinot Grigio. Yeah. Great. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to um, basically cu just cover this with water and then just let it simmer. Oh, also we're throwing in some peppercorn and wants bay leaves, right? Yeah. <laughs> I 
You guys are supposed to know all this for me. <laughs> How dare you? Where are my bay leaves, bitch? Someone put them out in alphabetical order, I swear to Christ. Not out of order, just in the wrong place. Okay. Works for me. Okay. So I'm gonna have this simmering on my stove top so I can do other things under the camera. The ingredients are looking mighty fine. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, okay, Oz Ed mostly has pizza and burger joints close to him. And you have an Indian restaurant. Yeah! Oh, man. Um, yeah. Best Indian food I've ever had is in, was in Europe. Was in, it was in Prague. Um, one was in Prague and one was in another city whose name I don't remember because their names are difficult for me. Um, but yeah, like Indian food is insane, but like the way, the way European countries are doing it, their Indian restaurants hit a little different. Oh, my dress has pockets. Sorry, just, that's what every girl says every time. And it's, it's cause it's amazing. Oh, Bison, thank you. Yeah. I, I have learned to make Indian food because it's so good. Um, I still do order out for it though, because like when I make Indian food, I don't use as much butter as they do, but sometimes you just want all the butter. <laughs> it has pockets. Okay, so those are those are going. What time is it? Oh my God, it's only 2.40, okay. I should have put chat orders me a pizza lower so that I could get pizza. <laughs> um, I'm deciding if I, we will mix cake first. We will mix cake together and then we can have that bacon. Okay. Okay. Yes, this is the way. When you only have one chef's knife, you just clean the chef's knife a million times. <gasps> Hoodie! Thank you so much for the gift subs! Aw, oh, fuck, I have to eat wasabi though. Okay. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so like, the other things are like things I like kind of like and like and I've mentioned it before I'm a very I am not a picky eater I like and eat basically anything but I loathe wasabi I th and like I know this isn't like it's not real wasabi but like it's what Americans know as wasabi also it was my excuse to get sushi for lunch today <laughs> Okay, usually around my birthday, me and my fam go to a place by the seaside that has shrimp on lettuce and bread. It's really good. <gasps> and you get a lot for what you pay for. That's the, that's the sign of a good restaurant is value. Yeah. Okay. 
Do I have to eat the whole thing? Can I eat half of it? Do I have to eat the whole thing? Oh, I hate this so much. I hate it, okay. The whole thing! <laughs> Can I do it in two bites? Do I have... Oh god, my nose hurts just looking at it. I don't remember the last time I've eaten wasabi. <laughs> okay, jo uh, Jass, um, those emotes have inspired me. eat it but oh my god why did I wear makeup today oh my god it's so much worse <laughs> Ooh, uh. oh I'm, I'm sorry am, am I clipping I'm so sorry I will I'm sorry I will do better to keep my <laughs> Emotions under control. <sighs> oh, it's so awful. Mm. Oh, even you're clipping that. <laughs> I get a little, uh, I get a little, uh, aggressive <laughs> while I'm eating wasabi. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, my poor little tum-tums. No. No, I'm fine. about this for a while. <sighs> Thank you for the clip, Bison Hider. I appreciate you. <sighs> I think we can keep on keeping on. Yeah. 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 Fuck it. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just ate a fucking tablespoon of wasabi. so uncomfortable. Oh man. Not gonna lie, that was a little worse than I thought it would be. Okay. <sighs> but we're bad bitches, so we keep on keeping on. Okay. Wow. Babish did not give me this recipe in weight. He gave it in volume. Disappointing. I God! I don't want to see the one chip challenge. I should have made that like a thousand. Oh no, Jazz, my mouth is fine. My stomach is very upset. Um, 
My stomach is very, like, it wants to throw up, but it's not quite there. Uh, chili mayo is amazing. Um, the one chip challenge, I have it. It is just a painfully, miserably spicy potato, or, you know, like chip. I have like corn chip, not potato chip. Um, my husband he is like a spice lord. He eats really hot hot sauce all the time and like painfully hot hot sauces. Like if you watch Hot Ones, he doesn't think the last dab is that bad and he was ruined by this chip. I'm very scared. <laughs> Hi River. Am I I'm sorry, buddy. Am I upsetting you? You're a sweet boy. You're very good. Okay. You know what I am doing? We are taking Tums. That's what we're doing. We're taking care of ourselves, chat. Oh! Dogs get a treat. Life is too short for that kind of pain. I agree. But you know what? I figure, you know, do it now. And it could be like a treasured memory in the community. And then someday in 30 years when I'm big and famous, I don't have to show the entire world my pain. And you all can just simply remember it. Two and a half cups, okay. Three, five of these, okay. One, two, three, four, five. We are mixing together the cake for Monster Cake from Breath of the Wild. Um, I hope your weekend's going well. How's it going? Yeah, we got Barbie stream. Um, wait. Oh, he gifted 10. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Doggos get another treat. Barbie stream will be... Um, sometime, sometime in the next week, because, I mean, it's just on the emulator, it's really easy to set up. Um, okay, doggo treat, and then we're drawing an emote time. Guys, think about what you want me to draw for an emote. Okay. Okay, puppies. Peace it. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Now I get a piece of paper real quick.
I don't know. I'll do something. Hype train! I can sing. Something. I mean, we'll... Uh, uh, oh my gosh. What? Guys, I was getting paper. Oh no. Okay. Okay, does it have to be a Twitch emote? Um, I guess it could be a Discord emote? Um, I don't know about, like, size restrictions and stuff. Okay, um, it'll be something. Um, okay. Blanky or lurk emote. Wait, no rap for the hype train? Sing rap, God. <laughs> so what I gotta do to prove to you, I'm still human. That's rap, God. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, you know, I was actually, <laughs> I was actually like going over it in my head today and I'm like, damn, I do not quite have thought shit memorized <laughs> by Megan the Stallion, but I almost have thought shit memorized. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Tell me your crime. Welcome. Congratulations on the sub. Um, a lot of things are happening right now. We're making monster cake, but now I have to draw an emote blindfolded, and then soon chat's gonna order my pizza for me. So stick around for that. I hope you're doing well. Oh my god, sorry. My esophagus. Whew. I also ate wasabi earlier, and it was horrible. Yeah, monster cake. It's from Breath of the Wild. It's a little purple cake with little horns, and it's made from monster guts. But we're using jackfruit to make it kind of weird. <laughs> Hoodie, the pizza is being ordered from, I guess down here it's uh, Brewery City Pizza. They got, a, they got a pretty decent selection of toppings, but I guess nothing zany. I mean, anchovies are zany to some people, but no. Um, okay. Sorry, I, I, I want to make sure I get everything. So, how many more dog treats do the dogs get? I think they get two. That could be... So, Jazz mentioned either a blanky or lurk emote. Lurk emote, I understand. What is a blanky emote? Like, do you mean like a, like a blanket, like a blanky? Or is that another Twitch phrase I haven't heard of yet somehow? Fucking esophagus. God damn it, I hate wasabi so much. So why didn't I do this yet? Do this. Okay, like a comfy emote. Okay, okay. <gasps> Thank you! It has a pet. I, I got a petticoat. It's the best thing ever, and it has pockets. But yes, I like this dress a lot. I got this from a boutique downtown, and it was a very good investment. I love it a lot. Okay. I think the dogs get two more treats. We're gonna do that, unless someone corrects me. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm really not. Um, I guess for anyone new to chat, um, in the back you see Marmalade. She is my dog. She is a good girl. She is a Harlequin Great Dane, and she's very good at sleeping. And then the other, uh, the other dog you saw, uh, his name is River, but we also call him Robert because it's funny. Uh, I am pet sitting him for the weekend, and he is a very sweet, good boy. 
I am also pet sitting Noodle, but Noodle is pretty aloof and she will probably not come down. Oh my goodness, okay. You want butt scritches? Yeah, yeah. Hi, buddy. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. I think we're, we're gonna draw a blankie emo and I have to do a blindfolded. No, no! Yes, Noodle is basically because River's in the house and River isn't always here. That, that's a little upsetting to Noodle. So she, she's got to guard her upstairs. Okay. Actually, do I have a handkerchief down here? Let me see. But silly me, it's a COVID world. I have a mask. <laughs> okay. We're doing a blanky, cozy emoji blindfolded. This will either be a Discord emote or a, like, just a follower emote. I'm leaning towards follower emote. River, you're fine. The door's open. You can go out if you want. He just stares at me like, you fucking idiot, pet me. <laughs> okay. This, this, okay. 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 How, how are we, how are we in the camera? Do like here. Okay. So we're going to have like our little face. And you have to have like closed happy eyes and your happy smile. And then blanky goes around it. And you want like a like some sort of like design on your blanky? I want like clouds. Clouds are nice. And then I guess over here we'll draw like a little mug of hot cocoa that can be in our little hands. And there's our emote. Boom. Done. Look at its beauty. I'm so scared. Okay. Are we all ready? I'm so ready. Oh, I love him! <laughs> That's so cute! better my little my, my cozy emote wants you to feel better yeah oh man I'm sorry because it like you can see the face but then everything else is just so off center <laughs> If you want to just like line trace it, that would be very helpful. I was planning on just like taking a picture of it. <laughs> so yeah, I can give that to you to just like line trace and like add some color to. That would be real. That would be nice. That would be, that would be uh, a little better, I think, than a shitty picture. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we're back to making cake. Um, if I've missed anything, let me know. Um, everyone, so we'll, we're going to be doing a, the Barbie Supermodel stream sometime in the next week. Um, I don't want to promise tomorrow. It might be Monday instead. Um, but yeah, be on the lookout for that. Because that'll be really fun. Oh, yes! Um... Ingredient poll 
of work, but like I was just sort of planning just like I was thinking like if uh, like everyone can say like one thing and I will put it on my pizza regardless. Um or do we want to like go like thing by thing? Like we could choose my like crust and then like my sauce. What do I want? Uh Um, yeah, let me, okay, cause can I put, a, I can put links in the chat, right? Okay. Thick crust. Okay. Okay. So we're doing a thick crust. And yeah, they have a couple locations. Uh, don't don't dox me. I'll be cranky, and nothing will happen. It will not be good for you. <laughs> but I am not actually worried about that from any of y'all. Okay. Oh yeah. So that. I figured pineapple was sort of inevitable. I don't love pineapple on my pizza, but I'm not like super opposed to it. Okay. Actually, I think I'll look at the sauces and we should do a poll for the sauce. Okay, so it's thick, thick crust, garlic, pineapple, Canadian bacon, well, if you want to put anchovies on my pizza, you can put anchovies on my pizza. It's whatever chat wants, and that's all I will say about that. Yeah, here, I'll get the sauce options in just a second. Let's do a 12 inch build your own. So I guess the options are cauliflower, thin crust, or original. So I'll just do original crust. You don't know what pepperoncinis are? They're, um, they're like pickled peppers, but they're not spicy peppers. They're just like, they're really vinegary. Oh, um, Okay, Bison Hider, there's like 12 sauce options. <laughs> um, so you might want to look it up yourself, but I'll read them off just for chat's sake. We have pizza sauce, basil pesto, oh sorry, basil pesto cream, sun-dried tomato basil pesto cream, Asiago cream, ranch, okay, so we get five options, okay. Yeah, they have Asiago cream sauce. Blue cheese should definitely be one of the options. 
plain cream cheese or barbecue sauce or ranch. I did not know you could just like, instead of sauce, just get cream cheese spread on your pizza. Okay, so yeah, my, my votes are blue cheese, plain cream cheese, barbecue sauce. Okay, he's got the sauce up. Excellent. The pull up. Yeah. Yeah. And it says the pizza will arrive in about an hour, so that'll be perfect. Where's my water? There's my water. And we added pepperoncinis. Olives. We're all about max chaos. Yes. Oh. Are we? We're, we're definitely going for the, the chaos ending in Elden Ring. I'm just looking real quick. I thought we had olives. We do not. It's okay. If, if it's tied, it'll come down to a dice roll. That's fine, yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, it is tied. Oh, pizza sauce, it does say choose up to one. I was, I was hoping I could split it, but you only get one sauce option. Um, Bison Hire, do you want to roll the die? I guess I can. I guess say it on stream. I can do that. Um, okay, no, you'll do it. Perfect. Let me let me know my fate. I cannot choose. Blue cheese. Yeah. Garlic, Canadian bacon, black olives, pepperoncinis, anchovies, Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so it's thick crust, blue cheese with garlic, Canadian bacon, black olives, oh, pineapple, pineapple, pepperoncinis, anchovies. Oh, I'm glad you guys are having fun. I, I thought this was a fun option. I haven't gotten to do this before. Okay, we're all good. Not, n nothing, I'm, I, no one's feeling betrayed. Uh, I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to add to cart. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever makes this is going to be so upset. <laughs>
Oh, I will definitely get a call, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Thank you, Hoodie and Bisonhider and Zero for the gift subs. This has been so fun. Yeah, uh, pizza will be here in about 45 minutes. So, now back to cake? Maybe. Okay. Three teaspoons of baking powder. <laughs> Bison and I would just assume it's a serial killer, but you would still make the pizza, right? Like, serial killers gotta eat. You don't gotta ask questions, just... <laughs> They're on a... After the wasabi, anything is fine. And honestly, because it uh, isn't using... Like, pe uh, like tomato sauce, it won't even get my acid reflux that bad, so I won't really care. <laughs> Where did my teaspoon go? Are you really? You're half a table. Oh, there, that is my teaspoon. Okay, don't look at me. I'm crazy, y'all. Okay. Trust your judgment. <laughs> That'll be it'll be fine. 